this is Mimi one of the most powerful players in rise of kingdoms not only because she's at 831 million power but because her second account is at 829 million power as well and as we're going to learn later in this video she has other accounts on top of these two and she's definitely been a player that I've discussed on this channel before but today I got to ask Mimi a ton of interview questions that she was generous enough to respond to so let's go ahead and learn more about one of the most powerful players in all of rise of kingdoms now as we're gonna learn today Mimi is Korean and so this interview took place over text it seems like her English is pretty good I don't know if she's using some sort of translator but it's my assumption that her primary language is Korean and that's why she didn't want to do sort of a voice interview or something along those lines but anyway let's jump right into it here as you can see we've got the little dancing cat here my first question for her was how did you first discover rise of kingdoms did somebody recommend it to you or did you see an advert advertisement for it she said Korea has developed a lot in the mobile market a million people will also participate in short-term YouTube and online advertisements I was one of them this is the advertisement for the problem now obviously there's a little bit of a translation error here what she's referring to is this specific advertisement that she saw in Korea apparently features a very famous actor over there I'm gonna be honest I don't know who this handsome gentleman is okay but basically what she's saying is that there's been a million different mobile gaming advertisements in Korea mobile gaming has been exploding there in Korea and she saw this advertisement she knew who this guy was and she downloaded the game to give it a try and she's been playing ever since next I was curious how long they've been playing rise of kingdoms and they said the number of login days is 1188 it's amazing but I've had four Christmases with rise of kingdoms so obviously she started playing right before Christmas and Christmas is upon us right now but this is over three years of playing rise of kingdoms consecutively which is insane next I was curious more about the number of accounts that Mimi has okay because if you look at Mimi's kingdom there's actually quite a few of accounts that have her name in it the Alliance's name is Mimi and I just wanted to know like how many does she actually own and run so I asked how many accounts do you currently own in your kingdom does each account have a specialty for example maybe one for cavalry and one for infantry or maybe one is garrison one is rally Mimi said the accounts I'm training myself are flower and perfume and there are five accounts that I bought and own 300 million combat capabilities this is being run by our, by our Federation members instead so the two 800 million power accounts that I showed before perfume of Mimi and flower of Mimi are the two accounts that Mimi primarily plays owns runs etc and it looks like she has three other accounts uh which we'll take a look at briefly I think I found all three of them that she's sort of just given to members of her kingdom that's what it seems to be here I don't know if she still has access to them herself or if they were just sort of given to people in sort of high roles within the kingdom as like a gift I have no idea next I asked how many kingdoms have you been in it seems like you have many friends and fans in your current kingdom do you run the kingdom yourself or do you have others helping you to this she said my personality is calm only two trips in three years so she's only migrated twice since she started playing rise of kingdoms after living in the first kingdom moved to a large kingdom but there was a civil war I was under a lot of stress and I found a place to stay alone that's 1175 it was a very small kingdom when I came here alone it was the bottom seed but every time I did kvk I moved here one by one two by one and it became a big kingdom like now so I'm just gonna pause here really quick I think there's a little bit of mistranslation perhaps I think what Mimi is saying is that people moved here one by one other players slowly came to the kingdom after each kvk that that she played I'm in charge of the way war and the way of decorating this situation and in the Federation other important ways of running the Federation are by good executive so here the translation Federation I'm assuming means Alliance and the kingdom itself so it seems like Mimi is in charge of war and picking the executives in the Alliance and then those executives kind of do the rest of the functions of the kingdom so that's super cool and honestly running a kingdom is basically like a full-time job so the fact that Mimi has other people helping is it's good that's I think the way that that it should be done one person doing all of it is just exhausting and next I was curious who is your favorite commander maybe because of their design and artwork or maybe just because they're strong and Mimi said in what I think is typical Mimi fashion is that a beautiful commander comes first the first characters I trained were Boudicca and Ethelflaed and I really like the current commander Joan of Arc so this is Joan of Arc Prime Jan Ziska not so good the new infantry commanders this time are the worst so 
throwing a little bit of shade towards infantry gang okay apparently not a fan of sargon and Tariq. i don't know if she's referring to the designs here or just the actual functions of the commander but it does not come as a surprise to me that mimi would like the most beautiful characters in the game and luckily joan of arc is really powerful as well so i love that also if you see these disappearing messages here she was sending me pictures of her different accounts on instagram but when you send it through instagram it comes through almost like a snapchat and we're gonna scroll down and she actually sent the actual photos and so we'll take a look at that in a second i just don't want you guys to be confused about that but the next question i asked was you're one of the strongest players in the world was that a goal of yours or did it happen naturally as you kept playing to this she said i didn't try to be the strongest just a steady purchase of packages that can be purchased daily and it was easy so there you have it ladies and gentlemen it's easy to become the strongest player in the world just buy every bundle every day no big deal totally doable and affordable by everybody oh my gosh next i said i'm sure many people would love to know do you know how much your accounts are worth approximately if you're not sure about the total do you know how much you typically spend in a month maybe then I also said if she doesn't want to answer this question totally get it I think finances are something that a lot of people maybe aren't comfortable talking about but she said I buy both packages every day for three years I don't know what the total expenditure is but it was cheaper than shopping in Chanel and Hermes that's crazy to me uh now I got a little bit of clarification here from Mimi I said for question seven you said I buy both packages every day for three years I asked what packages do you buy is it two every day or all of them every day and as you can tell by my uh emoji response here her answer was all she she just buys all the all the bundles every day all the bundles are purchased uh for the past three years now I don't know what the cost of these bundles are in Korea I don't know if it's an equivalent with the exchange rate and how all that works but in the United States a full bundle purchase is 385 dollars plus tax depending on what state that you live in and uh, on on average there's like 10 full bundles you can buy per day so that's three thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars a day and you can sort of average that out across three years which is just insane I mean that would be over four and a half million dollars if my math is correct um however again I don't know exactly I don't want to say for sure that's how much Mimi has spent because it might be the case that earlier in the rise of kingdoms career not all the bundles were purchased there's obviously been new bundles that have been added to the game so uh, again I, I don't want to say but realistically uh, you know if it's all the bundles for three years we're talking like at least over three four million dollars it's insane but hey if you bought Chanel and Hermes every day uh I think you'd, you'd probably end up in the same boat so I to I get it which is totally why I don't buy Chanel every day I mean that's the only reason it's, it's not because I can't afford it it's just that you know I'd, I'd rather spend it on Rise of Kingdoms and save money right right yeah anyway the next question I asked was let's learn more about you as a player where are you from and this is where we learn that Mimi is Korean most of the people around her are Korean as well so it looks like her kingdom probably has a, a lot of Korean players next I asked do you play any games other than Rise of Kingdoms if not what do you like to do in your free time besides play ROK and to this she just said nope no no other games just chilling just playing rock that's pretty much it now I followed up with that by saying you know having an account like yours must be very expensive and I asked this question before I knew that she bought all the bundles every day so I asked you know what do you do for a living and I again I said if you don't want to answer that's fine but Mimi doesn't have a job apparently uh she hasn't worked in six years she's living on the income from the building that she owns so apparently Mimi owns some sort of building in Korea and I mean hey that's that's incredible that is absolutely insane and I need to I need to figure out how I can buy me some some buildings because apparently oh my god like that's incredible next I asked do you watch any rise of kingdoms videos on YouTube if so do you have a favorite content creator and I wanted to emphasize that like she doesn't have to say me just because I'm actually asking the question for full transparency the reason that this interview even came about is because she saw that I talked about her accounts in the most powerful uh, accounts overview video so you guys can check that out if you missed it but that's how this whole discussion even started so I at least knew that she had seen one of my videos but I was just curious to know if she had seen any others and she said I watch from time to time with all the Korean creators and also Redline, Chiskel, Fleisch, Shinchi, and me. You're so cute. Listen, Mimi, you don't have to lie to me, okay? But that's very sweet of you. <laughs> you hear that, boys? Turns out I'm cute. Let's go. <laughs>
Now, the last question I asked was, you know, do you have anything you want to say to the viewers watching? Do you have any tips maybe for them to enjoy Rise of Kingdoms? And she said, I don't know. I think I'm not good enough. I envy the team that's good at Osiris League, and I envy that very large kingdoms can operate without problems. I need your attention and help. The 1175 kingdom is now divided into two groups, the Mimi Federation and the Vavi Federation. We want to grow up well. So huge shout out to all the Osiris League players and those of you who are managing your big kingdoms. It's impressive. And I'm sending my best wishes to kingdom 1175 i hope that these two groups can live in harmony and continue to be an incredible home to all the players that have chosen to play there now here we see some of the pictures that she sent me so this is the flower of mimi account this is the perfume of mimi account here we have the coco of mimi account which at the time of taking a screenshot here this was the king if we take a look at that account right now it looks like this account is called killer x in the uh, mimi alliance here so this might be one of those accounts that mimi acquired and then gave to one of the players who's helping run the kingdom that's maybe my assumption here at 174 million power pretty impressive stuff the kill points are insane as well now this picture shows Daisy of Mimi and also Rose of Mimi or perhaps Rose of Mimi based on the flowers here I'm assuming one of those accounts has been turned into the Coco of Mimi account since apparently the original Coco of Mimi account is now Killer X and then we also have Bloom of Mimi as well so I actually don't know where the Rose of Mimi account is I couldn't keep track of everything I've been trying to do it via governor ID but it looks like some of these accounts have been through some insane wars clearly because we're at like 57 million power which is insane over here you can see both of these accounts are in the 300 million range so definitely some impressive stuff there we've got a, a picture of what I assume is the first commander that Mimi actually maxed besides Minamoto of course gotta max the Minamoto first right but uh but besides that you can see that Boudicca was the first commander that uh, that Mimi actually maxed which is cool now just for reference Mimi also sent me this screenshot showing that they that, that they were buying every single bundle in in the shop when I was trying to ask for clarification so indeed Mimi is purchasing everything and also sent me this video of her inventory here apparently the way that bundles work in Korea is that when you purchase the bundles it's actually put directly uh, into your inventory here as an actual item and you can redeem that item whenever you want and when you redeem that item you get everything that came in the bundle but once you do that you can no longer refund that purchase so this is not how it works in in all countries um so i'm glad that this was actually clarified to me and i know this video is a little bit blocky a little bit blurry but there's over three million gems up there uh in the corner and that's not even taking into account all the gems from the bundles that have not been opened yet right so this is 90 of the $100 bundles just sitting here right ready to be opened um and you can see it's broken down by different types so there's a this is the new world bundle over here um and this is the war machine the max purchase war machine bundle this is battlefield healer I don't really know what that is but then once the item pack is used then it can't be refunded and it shows up as a golden chest in the Alliance anyway I just want to thank Mimi for giving us the opportunity to take a little bit of a closer look inside the exciting and beautiful world that she has built here in rise of kingdoms it's not often that we get to talk to a player of this caliber and I think Mimi has definitely left her mark on the rise of kingdoms community and if you just take a peek inside of her kingdom and inside of her Alliance I think that's pretty clear everybody that she's sort of surrounded herself with seems to really get along with her and generally likes being in her kingdom now I could be wrong maybe they're just there because she's buying a bunch of bundles every day I have no idea but I would hope that that's not the case now my conversations with Mimi sort of stemmed from Instagram and so I asked if I could sort of show off some of the content here on her Instagram because this is seriously like a behind the scenes look at what her actual life might be like and i gotta say okay we we love christmas here but also the lifestyle of mimi is a little bit fascinating to you know poor people like me <laughs> Like this looks like a, this looks like a drink with a with an olive that's covered in literal gold i don't know what this is but i'm assuming that bottle of liquor back there is probably quite expensive as well and if you go through there's tons of like designer clothes handbags absolutely delicious foods on this profile as well and this looks like are these coasters or are these cupcakes either way they look like custom rise of kingdoms things here which is super cool speaking of custom rise of kingdoms now we talked about again in the video where I talked about the most powerful players in Mimi's album she sort of revealed that she dressed up as Sundiuk from from 
from rise of kingdoms obviously it's a historical figure uh, and we get a little bit of a deeper dive into that exact costume here um i actually asked mimi about this apparently one of her friends actually had this costume already and it's very professionally made and so she sort of borrowed it either for halloween or just for the pictures i'm really not sure but it looks absolutely incredible here we see that mimi was actually at the three-year anniversary event for rise of kingdoms in korea so she was one of those that was invited to attend there it is flower of Mimi and man it's just I hope they do an event like this in in New York uh although honestly I really I really doubt that but yeah as a behind the scenes look of Mimi's life I mean you see rise of kingdoms is pretty much always present there and you can see like even at cafes and stuff look at that latte look at the star on that latte that looks absolutely incredible also a big Pokemon fan as well which we ladies and gentlemen we love Pokemon that's you know we, we're Gengar gang over here you know what I'm saying you you anyway showing off the different profiles and accounts and look at the oh my god oof, beautiful there's all that Chanel she was talking about as well anyway I don't know about you guys but I find this fascinating obviously because I'm completely unfamiliar with the lavish lifestyle but also because it's also really interesting to think about rise of kingdoms bringing together all sorts of different people from different countries different lifestyles different ways of life I've never been to Korea right so like the fact that it's a common interest amongst all sorts of different people it's it's super fascinating to me and apparently Mimi's a, a little bit famous over here she's a 33k that's crazy anyway guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out there so other rise of kingdoms players might see it also if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel and consider clicking the bell down there to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below your thoughts on the crazy accounts that Mimi is the owner of and her alliance and the kingdom and everything like that I would love to hear from you guys down below and go ahead and show me some love down there as well with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace